Good morning everyone, welcome back for another session of phonics. Thank you for tuning in today. Let's have a look at our learning intention. So our learning intention today is to learn the y phoneme and the corresponding grapheme. So the grapheme is called Y, that is the name of the letter, and the phoneme is Y, Y. Y. And the way that we do the y, the action for y, is we hold one hand like it's a little pot of yogurt, like that, and then we get take our other hand with a spoon and we pretend we are eating our yogurt and we say y, y, y. Can you do that? Y, y, y. Well done. So let's have a look at some things that start with y. Y, y. Talk to your adults or whoever you are doing your work with today and see if you can recognise what all of these things are. If you can think of any more things that start with a y, try and do that as well. Okay, so we've had a look. We have got a yo-yo. Has anybody got one of those? It's like a piece of plastic that goes up and down. It's pretty good fun. We have got yellow we have got oh, a yawn and we have got some yogurt and i know we've got a lot of yogurt lovers in our school okay so if you think of any others please do let me know because there's lots of great things that start with y y y let's have a look at forming our graphene so let me just get the right pen So, this is one, it starts at the top and curls around, actually let me just draw a line so that you can see how it needs to go in relation to a line. It's looking useful if my board works. Right, let's just draw a line here. Okay. Have a look at how we form that graphene. Are you ready? We go down until we touch the line, around and up, keeping our finger or pencil on the paper. We go down, down, down again, under the line and curl it underneath. It looks a bit like one of the other graphenes that we've been drawing. The G, well done. Quite similar, except it obviously doesn't close at the top. So let's have another try. It's going to go down to the line, around and up, back down and curl it underneath. Okay, so let's try doing it in the air first of all. So we're going to go down to the line, around and up, down and curl it underneath. Fantastic. If you think if you, if you feel confident in doing that, please write it on your board or on your paper. If you think you need a little bit more practice, this is a good time to do it. Sometimes at school we practice it on our hand. So we might do like this, curl it down and underneath. We sometimes write them really massive. So we stand up, we might write it in a really, really big way. So keep practicing because it, it can be quite a tricky one. Try to make sure you keep your pen or your finger on all the time. Don't, it's not got a lift. Okay, so we're going to try reading some words that start with y, y, y. Are you ready for the first one? It is y, a, k, y, a, k. Know what it is? Let's have a look. Ugh, yuck! <laughs> did you get that right? Well done if you did. The next one, the opposite of yuck. Let's see. Y a m. Y a m. 
What do you think that might say? Let's have a look. Oh, yum! Something delicious. Yum, yum. Okay, we've got another one. This is one you might have seen before. It's one of our high frequency words. Y, S, Y, S. What does that say? Yes. And if you got it right, well done. Yes is the answer. Fantastic. Are you ready for this one? Y, S, Y, S. Do you know what that says? Y, S. Shall we have a look? It says yell, which is like shouting really loud. Yell. Well done. Now we're going to go on to look at some more of our high frequency and tricky words. So we're going to go through them, try to read them, and then we're going to practice them every day this week. Now, um, Epic Phonics, which is another channel on YouTube, do some amazing high frequency word songs. So if you search for Epic Phonics, you'll find some great songs and these are the ones that we use in class to really help to embed these words. So please do search for those, they really will help. Okay, so the first word is we. My turn, we, your turn. My turn, me, your turn. My turn, she, your turn. My turn. B, your turn. My turn. He, your turn. Well done. Go back. Oh, not too far, Mrs. Nika. Are you ready? So, we, she, oh, not she. Sorry, it's me. <laughs> now it's she, B, he. Oops. So if you've got all of those, keep practicing. It's really good to go through them a few times um, and keep looking at them. And um, parents, if you want to maybe write them down on bits of paper, you can play um, treasure hunts with them. See if your children can read them. There's lots of different ways to practice these um, tricky words and high frequency words that can be really fun. So please do let me know if you need any other ideas. Okay, the last thing we are going to do today is we're going to play a game called Buried Treasure. Now, you have played this before, so remember what we do is we try to read the word. We have to think, is that a real word? Or is it made up? So if it's a real word, it goes in here in our treasure chest. If it's made up, we put it in the bin. Okay, so I'm going to sound the word out and I want you to say tr oh, trash or treasure. So trash, thumbs down, treasure, thumbs up. Are you ready? So the first word is y at Y app. Y app. So that says yap. Is yap real or is it made up? What do you think? So where's it gonna go? Boop, 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 boop. It's real. Well done. Yap. It's like a funny high pitched bark like yap, 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 yap. Maybe one of those little dogs might make. Okay, the next word, if it will move. Let's have a look at this one. Y et. Y et. Y et. Yet. Yet. So, what do you think? Have you worked it out yet? Ah, it is a real word, and I just used it in my sentence. So I'm going to put it into the treasure chest. Look at the next one. Oh, this is one we just saw. 
and y e l y e l. If you recognise it, you can say it loud and proud. Yell, and we know that is a real word because we just saw it, didn't we? Yell, a loud shout. Okay, what about this one? Let's have a look at this one. Y a d. Do you think that is real? Do you think it's treasure? Or do you think, uh-uh, that is trash. That does not mean anything. Yud. If you think it is a real word, please can you tell your adult or person doing this with you what you think a yud is? Because I think yud is trash. <laughs> And the last one, let's have a look at that one. Y -ok. Y -ok. Y -ok. What does that say? Yok. Yok. Hmm, what is a yok? Is it something you've heard of? Is it real? Or is it made up? Hmm, I think it is made up. So I'm going to put yok in the trash. Okay, that is the end of phonics for today. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow for another session. Have a great day everyone. Bye!